Good morning, afternoon or evening. My name is Paul Pennant and I'm the managing director of the company Today's PA and I've been teaching Microsoft and Microsoft Office for over 20 years. I'd like to wish you a very, very prosperous and fantastic 2023. After all of my experience, I decided to make it my New Year's resolution to share some of my favourite tips in a daily video for you. So where should we start? Let's have a look at formatting text. And we'll use Microsoft Word at the beginning. So we've got the word here provides. And what a lot of us would do is we would highlight the word and then we would then start to make some formatting changes. But you simply don't need to do that in the world of Microsoft Office. All you need to do is place your cursor inside the word and then start to apply your formatting. Let me give you an example. My cursor is inside the word. I can now use a keyboard shortcut and make my text larger or smaller as I wish. I can click another shortcut and make my text go to bold. Again, I could make my text go to italics and return back to normal. Let's say I want to underline my text. That is no problem whatsoever. What if I wanted to make it subscript? Again, there is a keyboard shortcut that will make it go to subscript. How about superscript? Again, my cursor's inside the word. No problems to make that particular change. But the thing I love about this tip, it doesn't just work in Microsoft Word. Let me just give you a quick example here. If we go to OneNote as an example, I can now click inside this word and make it be underlined. Let's say I wanted to go to do an email in Microsoft Outlook. I place my cursor inside the word and now I can make it bold. The final example, let's have a quick look at PowerPoint. I can click inside this word, use the appropriate shortcut and now make the word into italics. There's going to be so many more tips I'm planning to show you over the course of the year. And that's why I love Microsoft Office.